It's so broken. I love. Honestly, the designs of this game, like I, I don't think there's been a design I like disagree with, like you know, from from jump. So like all the characters seem to have like their own personality, their own style, and things like that. So obviously some of them are like references and callbacks to other uh, you know great media, but there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, everyone does that. Have you seen the most recent Legend? Uh, Vector. Yeah, oh yeah, the uh, like the, the yeah the robot. Yeah, yeah it's pretty jet cool. form. I. Around. I was like, yeah, I was messing around with him. I, I don't know how to use his neutral sig with the, uh, with the lance. Like, that was, <laughs> that was, I don't that was the I, biggest I, I'm actually, honestly, I don't think anybody does. That's, okay. that's the thing. Like, so Kosalix is, like, the lance guru, and he looks at this thing. He's like, what is this? Yeah. I, don't, I don't know what to do. But it, it's unique because, like, if you use it into the wall, right, you, mm -hmm. you like, you like ride up the wall. Right. It changes depending on how you do oh, okay. it. Okay. So right. I feel like there's some utility there. I, what I've been seeing people do the most is like they'll like hit people with a sidelight and they'll just stand still and wait for them to dodge and just hope that it hits them and try <laughs> to jump over. But yeah, no. But no vector in this game. We're going to go in game number one between Zero and Chedro versus Blood Diamond and Wrench. we got the North American team versus EU coming in here. And uh, get, some, get some pretty, uh, I, I guess some. Oh my. And oh, there we, we are. Oh, hey, we're back. We're just waiting like to see if we can get the... I've got the match pictured in my head. I'm going to be so disappointed when it's not actually what I thought it was. But what... Oh, there's another one that goes down. I heard it was a Koji side sink, but someone, got, someone off the top of the stage. I can, like, see. I can oh, see the man. Oh, here we go. Rack on. And you were probably close. If we would have showed up, like... If we would have showed it's up... It's too, too far to the game. Yeah, yeah. if we would have showed up, like, I'm 10 seconds ahead of this. <laughs> that Chedro <laughs> is so not damaged. That's... Wow. What? A, and, and in the meantime, in the audience, everybody's just, like, watching. Like, what you are so wrong. <laughs> you know, nobody knows what's going on. It's fine. Blood Diamond super uh, super damaged here on this last stock compared to Rent and Zero and Chedro still holding on that second stock. Is this going to be a win for the EU team in game number one? That's very exciting to see because so far Rent is just well, I don't want to say that because in doubles he's not nearly as notorious as he is in singles. Okay. But uh, he's still still quite a good player here on on the boat far. Actually. Wait a minute. I, oh, I like this one. Oh, the dusk is okay. He's going to be able to make it back, but I feel like yeah, the, the team's edge guard right here. Oh, his zero goes down. What? That slide charge down taking. That's a little bit what I was talking about, right? Because okay. he didn't gravity cancel it. Yeah. The charge just falls all the way down the side of the stage, right. trying to get that dive kick low to keep Zero from coming up. But Cheddar with the neutral stick flying all the way off gets that nair interrupted. Oh, the side stick does it. Wrench is down and Blood Diamond's in a 1v2, and that team combo nearly connected with the recovery. Neutral light, neutral light, neutral signature. Blood Diamond's still living. Can he get Zero? Using every jump possible into the recovery. Once again, he has nothing left. No weapon. Can't even dodge down. He just dodges all the way down, and he actually saved his recovery the entire time, too. That's incredible. That was Yeah, I definitely thought that was gone. Oh, really good recovery. He just, just punches him in the face. Yeah. Me and Haymaker, and let's see what happens. Oh, oh my god, missed what? the shore you. Okay. Neutral light. Blood Diamond goes over that down lane. That gravity cancel down lane means Chedro didn't have a dodge, but he still gets the cider off the left side of the stage. Blood Diamond on that platform, avoiding that recovery, but the stair does it. Chedro. Stock tank and the last one standing. Look at that, 699, 699 damage. damage man. That Petra really putting in the work here as a game number one goes through and Wrench and Blood Diamond are down a game. I oh, just, look at that. Red team's already hovering over Mammoth Fortress. They want to go back there so a, badly. That is such a nice, uh, like, ball skin. <laughs> oh. Yeah. That's interesting. The orb? Yeah. Oh, uh, for Dusk? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's clean. I don't know what that skin's called. Man, that's the thing. The skins have... The skins like the have names, the skin, and then the, the weapons weapon skins. have names. <laughs> yeah. Because once you get the skin for one character, the weapons are just unlocked for every other character. Right. I don't know. I can't keep track. Of it's, it. it's really I hard to keep should. track, man. All I just right. Describe it. It's like it's like a like a pharaoh thing, Egyptian style. I don't know what you call yeah, those. Definitely, definitely a, uh, an Aladdin jewel. So that's what that. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> that that that, that's a better way of putting it. Okay, wrenched on the on the uh, Bodvar here, which is interesting. So like I was talking about, wrenched is in a, a, a Qatar's main primarily, but he's been vocal about how much he likes hammer in twos. And I guess Bodvar fits his stat line the most if he's not opting for the sword. And, and the sword comes from a Surrey. But we see them both fighting their own battles, left and right stage. Wrench with the reversals on the hammer recovery, and Zero can't oh. make it back. Yeah, he was, he was simple. So I, th I think he might have actually been able to do an up forward uh, dodge and touch the stage. He went straight up and tried to, like, you know, kind of glide and to the drift, stage. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. Uh, I mean, it, it's hard to tell. But regardless, you know, he's going to end up dropping that stock. Uh, see if he's able to at least get himself a stock and keep it somewhat even here. He's not really into the yellow yet, but he's getting very close. Okay, now he's in the yellow. Nice. Okay, so you see Blood Diamond kind of dancing around both his opponents. Wow, somehow managed yeah. to, uh, to avoid the 2v1 right there. And take advantage of it, too. He got the neutral light on, or neutral air on the Cheddar and was able to combo it onto Zero. Zero accidentally sidelight staring his teammate off the left side of the stage and the sidelight into Wrench's favor. Could Wrench get the recovery? No, he just goes back to help his teammate on the Zero. Yeah, he's, I was, he's going crazy with these sidelights right now, man. Sidelights, gravity cancel sidelights. <laughs> he's yeah. trying it all. 
None of them really connecting, though, into anything too substantial. Blood Diamond finally going down in that first stock. Shadow once again, stock tank, as he was in the previous game. Only one with three left. And that is told there's totally just a bird backstage. Dude, the the bird the toast the, look behind you. The birds here are just so they work here. Yeah. He he so. literally works. He's like, yeah, Yo, you guys good? I mean, yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean, he knows it. He, he knows we got catering back here. You know? that's, that's, that's what's going on. That's crazy. Yeah. Wow. All right. Anyways, back to back Chedro, to Matt. Yeah, Cheddar's still still living. Oh yeah, you totally got a picture of that bird. Oh yeah, that's, you got it. What is this? <laughs> this that's good he's stuff. Going, he's going on the couch, dude. Yeah, he's, he's, he's working here, man. Oh, he's audience has no idea what's going on. That's <laughs> fine. Right. That's fine. Okay. Oh, it flew away. It's fine. It's going to go join the drones. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's going to hit the net. Oh, my gosh. All right, it's fine. I, I can't see it anymore. Uh, yes, yeah, out of sight, out of mind. Yeah, anyway. Yeah, yeah. Well, oh, dude, all right, that. so I wanted Blood to say diamond. this a while ago, but whoever whoever uh, decided to animate or whoever came up with the idea for the, uh, the orb down air deserves a raise. Oh, like the fact that you can... Use it as a zoning tool, but if it bounces off the wall, it's, the ground, it's such a cool move. Like, yeah. It's actually one of the coolest moves in the game. I really enjoy dynamic moves like that that can be basically three or five moves at yeah. the same time. Because if you're on the side of the stage, you can use the downer as a bounce it, but also like in the air, if it doesn't hit the ground, you can start moving before the orb returns to you, so it can be a zoning tool as well. And I absolutely agree with yeah, you. It's, it's an so incredible nice. move. I also like that the orb's neutral air is like. It's almost like an aerial jab attack, as right. opposed to like most most neutral attacks in this game hold a person in place, pummel them a few times. Mm -hmm. but the Orbnair is one that you can hit really quickly, try to get a dodge, and lead it into a more powerful attack afterwards. Right. Orbs, uh, a it's like, like a setup. It's like a setup, basically. So here we go. So this is uh, a pretty even game. Uh, you know, actually, we yeah, have actually 100% even game, uh, with with the exception that uh, Setaro had just a little less damage than Blood Diamond, but both zero and wrench. Or um, yeah, zero and red are really close to losing this stock. Yeah, it's looking really close actually. That down on the platform doesn't connect. Zero is the first to go off the top. And the one v two between Branched and Blood Diamond is now on Chedro, but Chedro made this work before. Yeah, that was I mean, dude. Chedro actually had the follow up too, uh, but it was not enough to push Rich past that blast zone. I think that was like that high defense right there. Uh, definitely gonna keep him alive. Ooh, Blood Diamond doesn't get that down air recovery. Puts Chedro back onto the right, left side of the stage. Ground Pound on the platform into the side sink. Oh I my goodness, Chedro with the double knockout to finish it off. Just side sink. That was 833 damage, dude. I, ca I can't believe. 833 watts. I, I mean, like, that was like, I felt like that was such a bait. Like, he was just standing well, here he waiting was. for someone. It's like, you know, this is a soft platform. Like, I'm, yeah. going, I'm going to spike you through this. I mean, like, that that's something the Blood Diamond obviously wasn't expecting. Because right? he just, like, Straight jumps up and he goes, "What are you doing?" Ground pounds and punches the other guy out of the way, and he's just kind of like, "What? You're trying to recover?" Boom! Ground pound just sends him off the bottom. Of the stage 272 damage from zero, 833 from Chedro. It's a little. I mean, like that's one of those ones where you look over yeah. at your teammate, and you're like, "Dude, yeah, like I need some help." Like, it, <laughs> like, <laughs> without that 272 damage, dude, Chedro wouldn't have been able to do it. All right, that's, that's true. That, that's like that's, that's true. A, a team game. All damage is good damage. Yeah, so right, <laughs> like, exactly. He's like, you know what? My total contributed to above a thousand. Doesn't matter how little it was. <laughs> it's just there. Part of the oh team. man, it's like owning a business. You know what I mean? Even if I own, <laughs> if I own like twenty percent of the business, I still own some of that business. It's like I, I'm an owner. 05 percent. It's like listening to that announcement of Bjergsen with TSM this year. Jesus. Anyways. All right. Well, <laughs> <laughs> getting into our <laughs> third game here. So wait, Blood Diamond and Rich won the first game? Uh, yes. Oh, they did. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Okay. Actually, did they? Wait. Wait a minute. No, I no, 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 no. I'm pretty sure Cheddar did. Win. I'm yeah. looking over at Toast. Toast, you can hear me. I thought. I thought. No, Sa he's talking to Love Stick. Yeah. I thought Cedro won that two v one. Yeah, as well. no, Cedro definitely won that. So it's a two zero. So it's two zero right now. They'll fix it okay. when, when Foda taps him on the back Eventually. and it says fix the score. So going into game number three, three the two zero lead. Cedro being able to bring out that uh, two v one. What is certain that this is that this is game number three? That is certain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is one hundred percent. So whether it's one plus one or just two. All right. Oh wow! Great edge guarding again, Cedro. Definitely MVP so far. Of oh my god! All wow. right, never mind. Zero's like, you know what? I actually have a little work to do as well. Yeah, no, that that's it. I like being able to see Dusk's signatures connect because that's one of the criticisms that Dusk was given was that these signatures were a little bit too like slow too and predictable. Okay. And because the neutral's like, you're not like aiming it anywhere. It's just, it's showing you exactly where it's coming from. That's sizing from Blood Diamond so fast, being able to take out Zero, but uh, wrenched. Making it back. Chedro, like I said, I, I, I'm repeating myself. He's stalking every single game. He is doing the most amount of damage and taking the least amount of damage. He's going into each one of these games and wrenched already in the orange round. Both of them surprised he didn't switch off his character, actually. Because yeah, I mean, he has so many different characters that I feel like okay. are more successful. But it, it, it's interesting. Yeah. 
All right, my man over here trying to hit him with the uh, the hell's up grenades. That, that, that piccolo axe. Whoa. All right, we're back. Ooh, oh, that went down there. Into the reset wrench. Okay, Cider neutrally did not finish off Zero, but Wrench is trying to do uh, a, a ton of work against Zero, just being able to bring him down to his last stock, maybe get that 1v2 against Chedro. But at this point, I'm like, is that is that really a win condition? Wow. Like, I mean, get that 1v2 against Chedro? Like, it, it hasn't worked out the past two games. Yeah, the whole time, though, that was going on, I mean, Chedro actually was just holding Blood Diamond uh, hostage, basically. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah that's 3-1. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he was like he was trying to get back to the stage. He was just like he was pretty much marking him, covering him. Every time he air dodged, you know, obviously if you air dodge, you're, you're kind of stuck with uh, no <laughs> options after that. So yeah, he pushed he pushed him from the right side of the stage to the left, and then uh, got a great edge guard to finish him off. So great stuff to uh, Chedro. Was still, you know, I mean, still very dominant here in uh, this set. I might get another three up, and we have the score score fix to bottom. Yes, zero. yeah, it does. yeah, it's, it's right here. Looking like we might get another three. I mean, honestly, this, this is looking like more of a dominant chance for me to get a three up two. Yeah. Already have Blood Diamond in the orange. Uh, Blood Diamond playing. Koji's not like the, the most defensive character either, though, so he's going to be eating some damage. Yeah, uh, Koji. Uh, get hit. Definitely not. Very high dexterity there for that character. Without right. So much of the defense. But, uh, oh, Snyder sent him flying. Okay, zero goes down to one stock. Wrench fighting each other off the right side of the stage, trying to get that stock to even up things completely. The Blood Diamond and Wrench are so damaged. And it is three stocks to two. Chedro with the recovery on the way back. Okay, oh. just barely outspacing that uh that neutral light. Ooh, that Man. gravity cancel side light side air into the recovery zero now doing a lot of the damage. The weapon toss finishes it up. The gauntlet weapon toss to take down wrenched. A little bit closer to the damage there, but still incredible. Chedro 705. Man, what a performance coming out from the EU team taking down wrenched and blood diamond. And like like I said, wrenched. Traditionally really not like that. knowing that right. he's not always with his teammate. Blood Diamond's definitely a very malleable teammate. We see him team with a bunch of different people at all these EU events that he goes to. But uh, that was uh, that was incredible.